and welcome back everyone well <laughs> i had a whole video on how i did these and i accidentally hit the uh stop button so i kind of lost everything so i'm just gonna uh so let's kind of tell everybody what we got here and what we did so far well as you know we've been in the garden lately and um we you know been getting the garden ready to plant out there and we've been talking about doing things like our potatoes and uh vegetables and all that other kind of stuff so i thought we'd take up a couple minutes and we're gonna try to do um are we we're gonna try to do some bucket planting here so as you can see i have in here i have the um strawberry all-star and over here i have our seedless red seedless grape and what did i do to get to this point well the next video i'll kind of show everybody um how i got to this point but because we're going to plant one more we're going to do like uh <laughs> blueberry or raspberry or something like that but anyways i took a bucket regular five gallon bucket like this and um i ended up drilling holes all in the bottom of the bucket uh all down here and all in the bottom of the bucket so um it get proper drainage <laughs> what i did was is i came up about about two inches or so you can see like the holes right here and right here and then on this one too you can see i got holes here and here and what i did was is where i put that um line of holes on the side of the bucket i ended up filling the bucket to like just above the hole like right about here i ended up filling it with pea gravel and i use pea gravel because you can you can use a lot of it but it also it, it drains fairly well and everything and you know keeps the water from uh sitting in the thing and as you can tell here i watered these things and you can see the water is already dripping out you know down below here out of the strawberry one so <laughs> that tells me that it's you know it's working really well so then once i got those filled i filled half the bucket with just regular old topsoil and you can see i've got two bags uh sitting here in my truck and I put the topsoil in, and then I took some uh, cow manure and compost, put that in, and mixed it all up really good inside the bucket. Took my plants, and they said before to put them before you plant them prior to planting, they said to um, soak them for a, you know for a little while. Like I said, you know to get the roots activated or whatever. So that's what I did, and like I say, um, ended up then planting the strawberry one here. And I ended up planting uh, the red grape one here. And like I say, I don't, when I when I do these, and I'll show you guys in the next video when I plant, like I say, the next one, I don't like push the soil down. I just leave the soil loose because what will happen is, is that if you push that soil down and you compact that soil, um, the roots, because of these being such a young plant, and as you can see here from the strawberry, you can see how they're young. They're just beginning to bud and um, come, you know, start to grow and everything. And I, I've learned that, like, if you, you know, compact that soil, um, you're, you know, you're going to basically kill it out. You want to give those roots time to, you know, expand out and, and grow and, you know, get strong. Then when it hits the bottom and it hits like that rougher dirt, harder dirt or whatever, they're going to be strong enough, you know, to break through that dirt and just continue to keep on growing. So, like I say, so we did that. And then, like I say, here's what we here's what we had, um, just so you guys see. They came in a box, dry, and it said to soak them. But they um, they're the strawberry and the red grape. And then, um, so we got them all planted. So now I'm going to show you guys where we're going to end up uh, putting them, so they so they can start to. Or, oh, before I show you that, I wanted to just say that you can see here and like this one here, I've got about I don't know about three four inches. Same way over here, I got about three four inches what i'm going to do is is i'm going to let these sit outside for about a day or two let them get established you know let them get they've been outside but i mean let them get used to the weather <laughs> and then what i'm going to do is is i'm going to put some uh mulch in the bucket i'm going to put some mulch around the top of this one and i'm going to put some you know mulch around this one here that way then um i won't have to water them so much they'll also you know hold some of the water at least and you know give these a chance to grow and also with this one um Right now, I just, it's kind of a, a, just an empty twig here, but what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to make like a little um, stick or whatever, and I'm going to end up, you know, training this to, um, you know, grow up against there and everything once this gets growing. Um, like I say, right now, 
it doesn't doesn't really matter but let me show you guys real quick where we're going to end up putting them so they say that um they need like a lot of sunlight and everything so i figured that by this point in the day the sun is kind of behind the house but it's already starting to set but it gets um the majority of the sun as you can see over there in the, in the back part of the yard like right against the fence right there the southern you know facing towards the south it gets it gets enough uh sunlight so what i'm going to do is i'm going to end up putting them right here and i figure they'll get the morning sun they'll get the afternoon sun and then by evening i can you know end up watering them or whatever so they're, they're not like completely dry but like i say it'll give them enough sun and enough uh enough you know uh sunlight to um you know do what they got to do and everything so <laughs> that's what we're um we're gonna you know we ended up starting the plant and all that and um like i say we've been working in the garden we've been getting that ready to go um we got a video coming out on that i'm, I'm going to show everybody how um i wrote it till that in and that soil that we have left over the soil and the uh the compost too we're going to end up using that for our flower planters coming up i have um a client that every year um they like to have the uh flowers you know for their hanging on their porch and everything so i'm going to show you guys when we go get a flat of those how we're going to plant those um you know in the flower things too but we're going to use you know the the comp the rest of the compost and the topsoil to um get them all planted and make them all look really nice and everything so all right everybody well that's it kind of a short video today but i just wanted to you know share that with everybody but um again thanks for watching and we'll see you guys like another day or so where hopefully we'll have the video of the garden next so make sure you hit that subscribe button so you you know can get notified when we put out new videos on landscaping and gardening and all that other stuff and you know make sure to hit that bell and also if you could please give it you know give the videos a thumbs up because it really helps to get the video out there to more people and you know helps helps out the channel so all right everybody take care and we'll see you next time